All right, 800-941-SHAWN, our toll-free uh, number. All right, Jeff, Raleigh, North Carolina. Jeff, I, I think I'm going to be down there um, this summer, around the 4th of July. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? What's going on? Oh, well, not too much. I, I just uh, I thank you for having me on the show. Yes, sir. Um, I want to give you credit. You were part and parcel for why I got into politics, or one of the reasons. I had a brother-in-law that occasionally watched Fox and kind of sucked me in. Uh, of course, when you're the rebuttal to Alan Combs, it's not hard to like a lot of what you say. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so I, I want to hear a funny story. I saw Alan last night because his office is right next to mine. Yeah, and I said, I, I, I you know, we're very, very friendly. I mean, he he still works for Fox. He does his radio show with Fox. He's on all the time. Anyway, so I said, to Alan, I said, you know, that birth certificate is a forgery, and you know, and he goes. Oh, you, 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 you tell me you don't believe that. And he starts bubbling and fizzing like Alcus. And I'm like, I said, Alan, look at it. It's not, I'm telling you, that's not the real certificate. He goes, you, hey, you Hannity, you, please say you don't believe that. I can't believe you're a birther. I knew it. I knew it. And I said, gotcha. Oh, he was so frustrated. That's funny. Uh, but, you know, over the years, I think as I've learned about uh, about government and and uh, how media works, I've, I've gone uh, to a point where I've, I have less respect uh, for the whole administration. Uh, I do like uh, Ron Paul, who you had on. I would, I would not mind seeing him uh, president. I think he's tried to come out with the truth about many things, uh, most especially the Federal Reserve. But, um, you know, what really got me to call was, was yesterday you had a, a gentleman on, uh, and a, and a woman, um, minister, the, the gentleman was minister. And I didn't necessarily agree with anything he had to say, um, but I never really got to hear what he had to say. And that, you know, there's kind of three points of media that I, that I see, and, and that kind of goes into the first one, and that is that so many people who have something to say are seem to be controlled by a redirection or, uh, you know, having multiple people on the other side that shout them down before they can make their point. And that's the thing about, you know, ideas is it takes words. That's why books are published and not paragraphs. Um, and, you know, and it's, it's a great form of control to make sure that nothing has ever gotten out. Uh, you know, and it's also there's the, the whole thing which I've really grown to hate, and I call it y'all's third and long play, uh, <laughs> to use a football euphemism. Um, but it's when you suddenly don a, a lab coat and a psychology degree and label people as conspiratorial whack jobs. Well, what, um, what's your point? Because you, you, you're sort of speaking in circles here a little bit. What, what do you want to say? Well, what I, what I want to say is that to trust our media is has become hard to do because I seem to be – seeing that there's deception on both the left and the right, especially against crucial things that matter about how our government is actually run. Everything is always blamed on a president, which, you know, we're, we feel we have a choice because in four years or eight years we can get another one. When actually, you know, people like Rush Limbaugh for years railed against anybody who even brought up the Council on Foreign Relations. Erica, how are you, Erica? What's going on? I'm doing good. Uh, Sean, how are you doing? I'm good. Thanks for calling. Um, I was listening to the radio station yesterday.